Use it for three days and people will gather to celebrate you. Use this for three days and people will gather to celebrate you. Before we start, we are going to read these scriptures, these powerful scriptures, and everything we are going to do today will be from the words of the Lord, okay? So get your Bible and open to Psalm, Psalm 18, verse 16. 18, verse 16. Use any version of the Bible that you have. He sent from above. He took me. He drew me out of many waters. What is waters? Your problem. God will draw you out of many waters in Jesus' name. God will draw you out of all your problems. He will draw you out of sickness. He will draw you out of barrenness. He will draw you out of stagnation. He will draw you out of that thing that brings you tears. You are always worried. You are always crying. What is that thing that is your problem? Money. Hurts. Getting married. Giving birth. No matter what your problem is. God will draw you out of that deep water. Deep water represents your problem. Deep water represents sickness, represents barrenness, represents that problem, that trouble. In the name of Jesus, God will draw you out of deep waters. Declare this psalm three times for yourself. Oh Lord my God, send me here from above. Take me, draw me out of my problems, draw me out of my problems, draw me out of sickness, draw me out of poverty, draw me out of disfavor, draw me out of rejection. Oh Lord, draw me out of deep waters. Oh Lord, draw me out of every evil cage, every cage of sickness, every cage of delay, every cage of barrenness, every cage of delay. Oh Lord, draw me out. Oh Lord, draw me out. Pray this seriously. Psalm 18, verse 16. Oh Lord, draw me out of my problems. He has promised to draw you out of deep waters. Stand on the words of God and see what happens in your life. Now the next verse, verse 17. That is Psalm 18, verse 17. Okay, still on the same psalm, but different verse. He delivered me from my strong enemies and from them which hated me, for they were too strong for me. God shall deliver you from your strong enemies, from all those who hated you. Because they are too strong for you. How many can you fight? You can't fight your enemies. For you to fight against principalities and powers, spiritual wickedness in the high places, marine powers, witchcraft powers, you need the power of God. Now open your mouth and begin to pray. Oh Lord my God, deliver me from my strong enemies. Oh Lord, deliver me from those who are too strong for me. Oh Lord, deliver my family from those who hate us. All our strong enemies, pursuing our lives, pursuing our heads, pursuing our finance. Oh Lord, deliver us in the name of Jesus. Every evil man or woman, every enemy, every force of darkness, every demon responsible for what we are going true. Whoever has a hand in the sickness, in the delay, in the stagnation, in that thing you are going through, the Lord shall deliver you in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray this very well with all seriousness, okay? Finally, you are also going to read Psalm 18 verse 19. The same Psalm 18, now verse 19. He brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. God will bring you forth into a large place. What is a large place? Your miracle. A worthy place. Your testimony. Just like he brought the Israelites out of Egypt, which was their problem, into the promised land. That promised land is their large place. What is your large place might not be my large place. Maybe what you are praying for is to get married. That marriage is your large place. Maybe what you are praying for is to give birth. That is your large place. Maybe what you are praying for is to get rich, to have money, to succeed financially. That is your large place. You are praying for a good job. You are praying to clear your debt. You are praying to clear your loan. Whatever you are praying for is your large place. The Lord shall bring you into a large place. Oh Lord, bring me into my large place. Oh Lord, bring me into my testimony. Oh Lord, bring me into my testimony. Take me out of deep waters and bring me to my testimony. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, deliver me. All the enemies pursuing me. Every power, every force of darkness, 
every evil man or woman who have vowed not to see me shine, who have vowed not to see me enter my last place. Oh Lord, by the blood of Jesus, deliver me. Set me free from my enemies. Oh Lord, deliver me. Only you have the final say. Oh Lord, destroy every cause in my life, every spell working against me, every enchantment, every divination, every rope, every cord they have used to tie me down. Oh Lord, losing me. Oh Lord, losing me in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, losing me in the name of Jesus. Amen. And you get this. Some people can use salt, but I'm going to use this. I prefer anointing oil for this prayer. Okay? You add on your palm, just like this on your palm, and make this declaration. Oh Lord, pull me out of deep waters and take me to my large place. Oh Lord, pull me out of every deep waters and take me to a large place. Oh Lord, pull me out of deep waters and take me to a large place. In the name of Jesus, amen. We need to pray. Oh Lord, pull me out of deep waters. Pull me out of my problems and take me to my large place of testimony, to my large place of success, to my large place of miracle, to my large place of blessing. In the name of Jesus, amen. When you are done, you rub this all over your body. Or you can add it to your bathing water and bath with it. As you rub this on your body, continue to pray. Oh Lord, deliver me. Oh Lord, deliver me. I'm healed from every sickness. I'm healed from stagnation. Every evil arrow go back to sender. Arrow of delay back to sender. Arrow of failure back to sender. Arrow of near success syndrome back to sender. Arrow of unfruitfulness back to sender. In the name of Jesus, amen. Rub this all over your body. Make sure you are taking your bath. And also add to your bathing water. You can do this anytime. You are pressed. You need urgent answer. You want God to step into your situation. Pray like this. Rub this on your body. Whatever the enemies have rubbed on your body in your dream, every evil veil covering you, that evil mask, that thing the enemies used to cast darkness on you, the reason why people hardly favor you, the reason why you are always rejected, your helpers are not coming. Help is not coming your way. It shall be destroyed in Jesus' name. Amen. Believe in God. But before you start this prayer, ask for mercy. When you are in sin, you don't have any business with praying because God will not answer. Ask for mercy. Genuinely ask for mercy, okay? And not just to ask for mercy, leave your sin. Repent and give your life to Christ. Leave your evil ways. That is darkness. And the devil will run far from you. And light will shine in your life. Light of favor. Light of wealth. Light of abundance. Light of healing. And every good thing you ever desire. In the name of Jesus, amen. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not. Make sure the bell notification is turned on. Do well and give this video a thumbs up. Share with your friends, okay? God bless you.